Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. This video is a follow-up to the Fashion File unboxing that I did about a week ago. I purchased this beautiful Chanel wallet from the Fashion File website and in the time that I posted that video to today, I have come to the decision that I will not be keeping this wallet. There are four reasons as to why I am returning it and I wanted to make this quick video to explain those reasons. So the first thing I did after filming the unboxing was load this wallet up with all the contents of my other wallet that is pretty much identical in size to this one. When I put everything in here, I realized that it would not close. I could close it, however, when I was trying to bring it together, it was straining and I did not like that at all. I uh, didn't think that that would bode well for the wear and tear of the wallet long-term. And I feared that the zipper would end up being a problem over time because since the wallet was not coming together easily, when I tried to zip it up, it wouldn't zip as nicely as it is now that it's empty. It really confused me that it wasn't working because my current wallet is a Kate Spade Lacey and as you can see, they're identical. I, I literally could not understand. They're the exact same number of compartments, card slots, everything. I did not know why it was not working. So I literally, I took them and I put them side by side, still couldn't figure it out and then the light bulb went off. If you haven't noticed, the base on the wallets is different. The Chanel is rounded and the Kate Spade is flat. So that little design detail makes a huge difference. At least for me, it made this one not work. The other thing was in relation to the card slots. Now, as you can see, they're gorgeous. There's no signs of wear. They're beautiful. They're perfect, soft, supple, in line with the awesomeness of Chanel. However, when I was putting all my credit cards in there, I found that the cards were almost too harsh on this soft, supple leather. It's like this amazing quality ended up being a flaw in this wallet, which is so unfortunate. I felt like if I wasn't going to be constantly mindful of how I was putting in my cards every time I use them, that these slots would inevitably show really, really bad wear. And I've seen pre-owned wallets from Chanel that are being sold that have that sign of wear to them. They look, they look beat up at those edges. And I could just like see into the future that that was gonna be a problem with this one. I know that I'm buying pre-owned and that in comparison to its retail price of 1200, 795 is a better deal, but 795 is 795. It's still a lot of money. So. I was just not comfortable knowing that there could be a chance that this wallet was gonna to start to show wear. The last reason was just in my overall examination of the wallet after filming the video, I noticed, now this side is fine. So just gonna show you there. This side to me looks like it's going up and over. Let me know in the comments down below if you see what I see because I'm pretty sure that this side is nice and straight and this side is making a bit of a turn. All those reasons together made me decide that this probably was not gonna be the wallet for me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and ding the bell so that you are alerted to the next time I do film a video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.